Happy Payday Your Way Friday. Today's episode is entitled How to Earn Money by Branding Yourself. That's right, I'm back again. And today I want to talk to you about branding yourself. And no, I don't mean by <laughs> branding yourself that way. I mean by using who you are. Marvelous you to create the income that you deserve. So think about it. I don't know about you all, but when it comes to me, whenever I'm buying a product, yes, brand means everything. But if there's a brand I don't know, sometimes I may look to people um, because sometimes brands may try to push their things along because, hey, they're a good brand and they will just simply not even care to make sure that people like us actually want it and sometimes they do but having people that we know having people that we know to give reviews on those products are normally something that we go for more like for example i normally go straight to the reviews whenever i'm looking for a product am i am i by myself <laughs> hopefully not but here's the deal. If you are a person and you know you're worth, you know that you're more than enough and you have people who come to you for certain things, then my friend, it is time to brand yourself. So branding yourself is not probably what you think it is and maybe it is. So when you brand yourself, you are putting you out there to the world. So first off, when you bring yourself, something that I would suggest is that you stay true to who you are. Honestly, who you are in your real life and who you are in your business life should not be different. It should not be. It should be the same. So if you are happy-go-lucky at home, you should be happy-go-lucky at work. Honestly, like whoever you are should be who you are at that time. And sorry for that horrible singing, <laughs> but who you are should be you. And that's who I am. So that's what you get. <laughs> okay. So be who you are. That's the very first thing. But how do you brand yourself in order to actually bring in money? So Whatever you do in life, whatever you decide to do to earn money, if it's outside of actually working for someone, then there are several things you can do. So you want to brand yourself if you are going to do certain things such as any kind of marketing, such as like affiliate marketing, um, network marketing, which is just another form of affiliate marketing, or if you want to do your own thing, such as like consulting course creation, content creation, etc., things like that. So if you decide, like for example, I'll just take content creation because that's what I do. If you do content creation, it is so important to brand yourself or at least have you so embedded in that brand that people know that it's you because we gravitate more to people, especially to people who we feel are like us and people who we feel are genuine, that they are truly who they are. Like I honestly, I started to follow people who were, who I felt were genuine without even realizing it. <laughs> but that's just something that we do. So be genuine to you in whatever you do and do not change it up for anybody because you are worthy and the other people on the other side, they want to know who you are and they want to they want to know how you got to where you are. How can they be worthy like that? And maybe you could be the one to show them and to help them along the way. So with that to the side, how do you brand yourself? So honestly, I use my name, <laughs> Denise Boyd, but you can actually use something else and add your name in it. But your name is honestly going to be easier. That's definitely going to be easier. It can be a variation of your name. It could be parts of your name. It could be your whole name. It's totally up to you, but that's how you want to start. And so one thing you want to do, even though you have your brand name or your name for your brand, there's something else that's more important. And that, my friend, is your tagline, what people are going to know more about you. So... 
For example, Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. There it is. You know that Chuck E. Cheese is a place where you're going to go play and have fun and all that good stuff. So what will people expect from you and your brand? So I personally help moms make money online like a pro, but I go far and beyond that. Because in order to truly make the kind of money that you want to make, there are certain things that have to be in place. And as a mom, we can't just stop and just work on making money all the time. We have our kids to think about. And if we're married, our spouses to think about. And on top of that, we have all of us to think about. We have to think about our mental health, our mental wellness, our physical health, our financial health. Like there are so many different things as moms we have to think about. So when you're branding yourself, please be sure to have a tagline which will allude people to what it is that you are known for. Okay? So that's very important. Now, one thing you can do is make sure you run that information by some people, um, but you do not have to because honestly, we all don't necessarily think, we're all, we, we, we think habitually because of things that we have been through, things that we have learned in the past, gone through in the past. So this may be something that you want to truly put your thinking cap on or go to people that you trust before you actually make that decision. Now, granted, you can change it. Sometimes though, once it's out there online, it's a little bit harder to change and kind of, you know, get people used to the new you. So make sure when you go out there that you go out there with who you choose to be. Now, the next thing I want you to do after you choose your name and your slogan and all that stuff, I want you to think about your main image, like your logo or a cover for whatever social media platform you want to use. Now, these things can be simple. My logo is super simple. It's just my initials or my name. So one of them has, I think my cover has my initials or my name and then my logo has my name or my initials. But hey, it's all there. It's my logo and it's something that I'm sticking to. Now, something that's important, when you're picking a logo, it is super, super important to make sure that you have a consistent color throughout the things that you do, throughout the things that you create. So if you're gonna have a logo, a cover, or whatever you're creating, make sure that they are the same or consistent across everything that you do. Now, you can even create merch, but make sure that that merch is also congruent with your colors everywhere else. Now, something that else is important with your branding is making sure that people understand what your specialty is, okay? So your specialty is pretty much something that you do, that you're known for, that people call on you when they need things. Like for me, people are like, well, how, how do I make money online? How do I do this affiliate marketing? How do I create a landing page? How do I, how do I? And I'm like, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this. And they're like, okay, thank you. Okay, th you know, <laughs> so make sure that it's something that people actually come to you for and something that you actually know. Don't try to, to fake it <laughs> because it will not work for you. Like be genuine. There's that genuine word again. Be genuine, be true to you. If you stick to something you know, you, my friend, are going to be just fine. So focus on what you're good at and make sure that it's exact, okay? Do not, do not necessarily be a, a jack of all trade, but make sure what you have is something that you do. Like you can't say, oh yeah, I do computers, I build houses, uh, I do underwater welding. <laughs> like all that, like that's a little too much. Like just... Stick to something like, and it doesn't necessarily have to be one thing, but they all need to be related. Okay. All right. So another thing that you can think of is what you want to be known for. To me, you all, this is like super important, super important to know what you want to be known for. Now, another thing I would tell you to do is think about people who are in your niche, in your area of expertise. And think about what they're doing. Now, 
this is what I like to tell people. Think about what you can do better and differently than them. What's going to make you stand out? Because if you're not going to stand out, then it may not be a good fit for you to be there. Maybe you need to see what else you're good at so that you can stand out there. Because we were all created to stand out. We're not carbon copies. <laughs> we're not. We're created to stand out, you all. We are more than enough. All of us are. Could you imagine if all of us knew that and we lived in that life every day? So truly think about who your competitors would be. So if you are in like online marketing, if you are in content creation, like literally find those people, follow them on social media, like and subscribe to their stuff on YouTube, stuff like that. Honestly, doesn't hurt anything. Like I like when people try to emulate me or say things, some of the, or teach some of the things that I teach because I know that it's needed. It's important. Does it bother me? No. Am I upset that they're getting, you know, some of my subscribers and views? Absolutely not. Because what you have, no one can necessarily take away from you because it will be genuine. Okay. And what's going to come to you is going to come to you regardless. So no worries. No te preocupes. Don't worry. All right. So think about what you have to offer. What do you have to offer? When you get ready to brand yourself, there has to be some sort of offer. I've already talked about what I have to offer. I have to offer my expertise, my knowledge, etc. Even just as being a mom, there are things that you can offer as a mom. Now, there are tons of people out there who help moms who are in business. But to me, I feel like they leave so much out. Like, yes, I'm a mom. Yes, I'm in business. Yes, you're a mom. Yes, you're in business. But there's still some factors that they don't put in there that should be in there. And for me, that's what makes me different. That's my competitive edge. So think about what your competitive edge is and how that relates to what you have to offer your people. Now, something else that's cool it's having your own story. We all have our own story. Like my story is my story. Your story would be your story. Now, when I branded myself, I thought about what my story would be. And you all don't try to make it all cookies and cream or peaches and whatever the word is, <laughs> whatever the phrase is. Don't try to make it seem like it's just the best thing since sliced bread. Like be real with people. People want to know that you are human. <laughs> People want to know that you've struggled like they are struggling or have struggled. They want to know that you feel pain like they feel pain. You feel joy like they feel joy. They want to know those things. So be genuine in your story. If you haven't heard my story before, you will probably you can probably go back and hear it or you'll definitely hear it in the future because your story is your power. Your story is your power and never <clears throat> ever forget that all right so the next thing that i want you to think about is when you're branding yourself is who you're going to reach out to so <clears throat> your who needs to be so tiny it so the way you're going needs to be so small that only you can fit through there okay so what do I mean? So when other people t teach others about their niche, they're so like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but they don't even like scratch the surface. Like they don't, <laughs> they don't scratch the surface. They give you something small. And honestly, you all, I'm going to give you all of this. Yes, I am. Why? Because that's just who I am. So when you are looking for your who, it really needs to be a who that not everybody has. And like I said, I think it was last week or week before, I never just try to reach everybody because you're just, you're throwing a dime trying to hit a thousand people and you'll never do it. You'd be lucky to hit one. <laughs> but if you have a target so small and that's what you're aiming to, you're going to get closer and closer to it every time if you are not hitting it. And your target doesn't necessarily, isn't necessarily small. It could be huge, but it's a, it's a certain group of people, okay? So make sure that you are reaching out to your 
people. Make sure that you are finding your people, your tribe, your whatever you want to call them, your friends, your lovies, whatever you want to call them. So make sure that you know who your people are. And honestly, you can actually go back from knowing who your people are and start doing all of the other things such as figuring out what um what you want your brand colors to be you can do that to figure out what you want your brand name to be like all of that it's all about your who so if you can figure out your like what you are good at first and who your who would be then you can backtrack and do all those things or you can do it from the way i told you but i would honestly as my bonus i would honestly start with what i'm good at what people call on before and then with who my who is and make sure you break down that who as far down as you can because we're tired of the same old thing we're tired of the same old thing it's time for something different and you my friend you are more than enough you have something different so as you're branding yourself look at what you have different and use that use what you have different find your who and backtrack with that. And then next week, of course, I will be back. And if you have not, make sure that you check the description below because I um, have the video from Monday, Motivational Mondays. Um, you are more than enough. And I want you to go back and look at that. Why? Because you have to know that you are worthy of this before you even try to go into anything like this. Now, granted, you could still do it, but you may not get the traction you want until you know that you are worthy and you are more than enough. So here's the deal. Go out there, take this challenge. If you need to rewind it and take notes, go ahead, rewind it and take notes. So I hope as usual that the rest of your day is awesome. But in the meantime, make sure that you find someone else that you can work on this with. And if you cannot, just stick to it. I can be your buddy. I can help you out, <laughs> you know, come back here or you can even email me, okay? So you can go to my main channel page. You can find my email. You can email me. It's definitely me. So I will respond, okay? So don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so that you will be notified when I post another video. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.